What is up, everybody? It is that guy Tony here, and we are back for episode five, I think, of building our Minecraft city. And we are working on the skyscraper, which has yet to have a name, but we do know it is an apartment building. So, we gotta fill it up with apartments, right? The bottom floor, I'm actually going to make a Possibly the first two floors is going to be like a uh, kind of like fancy clothes store. Kind of like, um, I don't know if any of you guys, I believe it's just in the state that I live, but like a Von Mar. Von Mar is a really fancy and expensive clothes store. So, and a lot of, you know, skyscraper buildings, a lot of the bottom area, first couple floors. One or two floors are usually rented out as business buildings because they're on street level, and a lot of times they're in good locations. Um, so, basically, and then the rest of the floors on top of that, I don't know why I totally just went off subject there, um, a lot of the floors on top of that usually are just like apartment or office space, which is rented out. Um, but there's also cases where it's all just the same one office building, one company, and one building. And I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do. I think we're going to do wood kind of racks for all of this. So get some stone slabs here as well. Some of these slabs, maybe some of these. And then we're going to need a cash register, which will probably be stone. Probably want to do some, some things a little bit differently than others. Let's look around here. Yeah, we'll get some acacia. Alright, so the front counter, I think I'm going to make like in the center here. It's going to be very similar to like a, uh, a JC Penny kind of style thing. Maybe, hmm, I'm trying to think here. Let's just, I'm just going totally on with this. I'm not planning everything, or anything. I'm not planning. Did I just say I'm planning everything? No. I'm planning absolutely nothing for this, guys. So, just going with the flow here. I think I'm going to go with some of this underneath. And then we'll go with some of this cross. And then we'll do something like this. And we can place the stair upside down. And we'll put a block here, place that stair upside down. And then we'll go over here. Place these two stairs upside down. Connect this up right here, making just a nice, hopefully a nice looking counter kind of area. I have a cash register here. Uh, we'll do it like on the edges here. So cash register here, cash register here, cash, 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 cash register. And then I think we'll do like some sort of maybe like lamp or something in the center. So get some sea lanterns, and we'll just put the lamp on right there. I believe what you can also do is to make it look like a little bit more like a cash register, is get a sign, put it right there. So like this, and that will kind of give the people buying you know, that will kind of be like the monitor kind of screen for what's being scanned and everything like that. So there's kind of the uh, cast register area. I guess we'll put like trap doors as well. Wherever the trap doors, trap doors. I guess we'll, hmm. No, we'll do trap door. Just put that there. That there. That there, that there. Hope the employees can kind of get inside of the main register area. And then 
I need those logs back. Basically, kind of want to have it something like this. something something like this hmm. maybe if I went could we do actually do that okay I guess that well no I don't like that Meh. We'll do... How about we do... Like this. Okay, there you go. And then we'll have kind of maybe... Another shelf. All the way along here. And we'll do that. this back area we'll just put make this all one solid block and we'll have like maybe some mannequins or something up there I'll actually make this wonder actually let me see here let's get some carpet and this is gonna be representing floors can we no we can't put them there if there's a shelf there so I'll have to leave that open can I put it down if there's a sign? Trap door? No, I can't. Okay. Well, that'll have to do for that side. Maybe if we break it up a little here. Then we can kind of... Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just kind of put that one, two, three, four. Okay, and that should do it there. I'm gonna go, I'm just checking something on my iPad as my phone rings and decides to interrupt me. Um, me and my friend, well, I wanted to go see the B 17 uh, Flying Fortress, World War II bomber aircraft, and there's one near my town at an airport that they're having, um, and they're showing it off. Well, I don't really mean like showing it off like in a greedy way, but it's just on display and you can go and tour it and everything. And I wanted to go see it, but it's been raining like the past few days, and only touring it, uh, weather permitting, and it's like raining, so don't think they're going to be doing it today, but I wanted to kind of go with my friend because me and a friend are we're like war techies like we love all that I love all this I mean me and him both love all that kind of war stuff if you know what I mean like mainly World War two but we do know you know we do know quite a bit of other things about other wars as well um, particularly tanks is what we're interested in we both play the world tanks game which is just basically like a kind of tank simulator game, mu uh, massive multiplayer kind of style game. And we've been playing that for a long time, and since there's tanks in it, like battle tanks, we do know quite a bit about tanks. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, okay, so now that we kind of got all these main areas in, I kind of want to just decorate the floor with something. We can also maybe take advantage of these end rods. These are quite nice and they do illuminate stuff with the light, so... May have to find a use for those. That actually doesn't look too bad. What if we did it on top of all these? And then I just get a Slap. Slap. 
make an oak wood slab to kind of just make it feel a little bit more connected. That actually doesn't look too bad. I'm afraid since, you know, this is just, these are new additions, that it may lag out the world a little. But, eh, we'll see. Okay, now we need kind of like some armor stands, I think. We'll put these on outer display. Like, how are we going to do this? I want it facing this way, so we're going to have to get some of the glass. Break it off. This is just kind of a common thing for cities. They kind of put things in display in the windows, especially in like New York City and things, at least. From what I've seen, that's what they do, so do that. And I don't know if I want to put I guess we can put a little table here. And then hmm end rod there. I guess so. We'll put one there. Let's put them directly over top of all this. Um, hmm, okay, we'll do that, and that. Kind of have them connected to the ceiling. I don't really know which one would look better. If they're connected to this ceiling, it may kind of look like the ceiling is holding up the desk, keeping it from falling over, is almost kind of what they look like they're doing, but I think, the, I think we'll just leave them like that. Okay, now, off to doing what I was supposed to be doing before I put all that stuff in the window. We're gonna need armor, so we'll get a bunch of leather and things. We'll get just two of each, and we'll we'll dye all this. Since we don't use a texture pack, I'm I kind of want to use uh, the the city texture pack um, that uh, Dan Lags uses, but. Um, my computer's password protected, and so it may have trouble, um, whatchamacallit, like, doing all that? Oh, what am I trying to say? It may have trouble, um, well, not really trouble, but I may have trouble trying to get it because it'll need a password, and, um, my dad may think it's like, a virus or something, and I uh, won't want to install. Uh, real quick here, 1.9 shields, can armor stands hold them? No, they can't. That's kind of unfortunate. Too bad. Okay, now we need to go to dyes. I think I want some blue. And I need some armor here. I think we just, what we do is we just put it in right there. Like that, like that, and like that, and then I wish there was an easy way that you could just put this armor right into your inventory instead of having to grab it. And then take some green, of course we can't let down on the green. How many, I think we have one more armor stand after this. Put that right there. Okay, now we have four more, so let's just. Oh, dang it, I can't put it in my hot bar because it puts it on my stupid. Dude, this is so dumb, I have to drag everything. Okay, and it's thundering out. Oh my gosh, it's putting it right on. Okay. I love the sound it makes when you put it on. Sounds so cool. Okay, so now, what am I doing? Going to inventory. We need it. Oh my gosh. We need another thing of armor. And then we need a bunch of dye. Let's do purple. Put that in there. And then, let's do some orange. Okay, so put orange in there. Orange.
orange pants, orange hat, orange that. Oh, that rhymes. Orange pants, orange hat, orange pants, or purple pants, purple hat. How does it rhyme? Orange pants, orange hat. What was I saying that rhymed? I totally forgot what. Dang it, I just made up a rhyme and I forgot what it was. I forgot what it was. Anyways, uh, video time is almost over. I did, um, at the beginning of the video, you guys saw a bunch of time lapses. That's actually three separate videos that I sped up. Um, it kind of made them all, hopefully, when I edit them all and speed them all up, make them kind of seem like all one video. Um, also, something I didn't show on the time lapse was putting in these stairs. I believe I just showed them in the front of the video, but every floor does have access to the stairs. Just add those in off camera, so it's just kind of a little area in the back of the rooms here. And like I said, every floor has access to it. It does take up a little bit of space, but it is necessary in buildings to, you know, although it does have an elevator, if there's a fire or something, you're not supposed to use the elevator because the elevator could break or cable could snap or something, and you'd plummet to your death. And so you're always supposed to use the stairs. Um, so can't really use the stairs if there's no stairs, so I thought it was necessary to add those in. We get some different different types of clothes here. And I think I just kind of want some uh, purple shirts here. Do some pink shirts here. Some green shirts here. Yellow, orange, we got some orange here, some pinks here, some blues here, I'm trying to kind of separate them just so they don't look quite as weird, okay, and we'll also get some like some brown, some different types of gray, let's get some white, can't neglect red, get some normal purple in here as well, just gonna do something like that, and then we'll put some more whites here, and we'll get some black as well. Okay, that doesn't really work. Um, let's get some red here. See that all just kind of representing uh, shirts, by the way, in case you guys didn't notice what they're trying to resemble. Okay, so here's kind of like the clothes store. And we just kind of got some carpets that are, like I said, representing shirts. And we got some things in the display window here. I think this is pretty much done. We need to put like some flowers or something around on the outside and in the inside. Um, second floor, like I said, is probably going to be more clothes and things just because this is pretty small. You kind of see it looks a little weird, the stairs on the outside. But that's kind of how they look, you know. Like, it kind of looks like a parking garage with the stairs that are kind of... A lot of times, at least where I live, the area where the stairs are for the parking garage are usually pretty wide open. Um, and, like, open glass. I guess that's just because the rest of the parking garage is usually all kind of closed in and dark. Um, so, yeah, you can kind of see what that looks like from the outside. We got all the street lamps, which I also um, sped up, which you guys also saw putting those street lights. That took forever to put those in, and it's kind of hard because I wanna, I come trying to put them in this certain pattern, ten blocks apart, and it's kind of hard to do on the curves and stuff. We have a bat. Where'd the bat come from? Anyways, we may have to like turn off animal spawning. I'm not really sure how you do that, but you can kind of see we got all the clothes on display there on the outside. So when you're working, on, working, working. When you're walking on the street, you can see that. 
Why do all these endings of these videos come to such, a, such an awkward end? I kind of just kind of review what I did. Kind of just review. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of. Keep saying kind of. All right. I'm so unprofessional at this. Hopefully, I'll get better. I keep saying that. But I will. I will get better. So there you guys go. With the... Well, not with the, but a video of working on this skyscraper. Next episode will be making the second floor to this closed door. And then we'll work on the apartment, and then we'll just copy that apartment to the next of the floors, which I'll probably just do another uh, speed up video of that when I'm copying all the apartments, because that's really boring to watch, just to see me do things over and over again. Like I said before, it's boring to watch, I'll speed it up. If I'm repeating myself over and over again, like putting in street lamps, um, then, yeah, I'll speed it up. So, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Goodbye.